All around the world, there appears to be a number of strange occurrences that seem to create a manipulation in both time and space. These strange occurrences have come to be known as different instances of time travel and time slips in our reality that not only causes unexplainable phenomena to surface, but can change our very perspective on the nature of our world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over these instances of bizarre occurrences as we go over five different time slips or time travel cases in reality that cannot be explained. The Disappearance of Kathy Kramer In the month of August, back in 1960, a strange disappearance occurred in which a young six-year-old girl went missing that led to a full investigative search by law enforcement and investigators throughout the entire house and a few miles radius surrounding the house. This led to neighbors, volunteers, law enforcement and many others joining in on the search, doing full sweeps of the house and neighborhoods. Details surrounding the investigation came from the combined witness accounts of the parents that claimed the young girl was put into bed at around 7 p.m., but then faded from existence and disappeared before their very eyes. It wasn't until another eight hours passed that suddenly the young girl faded back into existence, asleep in her bed, as if she had never left and time had not passed for her. When asked about where she was or what happened, she refused to speak, and officers and other investigators were completely baffled as to how a young six-year-old girl could have hidden from so many people doing full sweeps of the house and the entire neighborhood. The Mothman, a time traveler. There has been a growing number of individuals that have come together with new theories surrounding the Mothman and the possible nature of the creature. Given the fact that the strange encounters surrounding the creature have always been key in determining a future impending disaster, this has led many to believe that it may not be supernatural in nature, but rather that of a scientific advancement. Originally, the Mothman creature was first encountered in that of the small town of Point Pleasant in West Virginia. These strange sightings continued up until the collapse of the Silver Bridge, a tragedy that led to many people being injured and even more losing their lives. Interestingly enough, premonitions of this event occurred to many people in the town, of whom also spoke of encountering the Mothman prior to the collapse. After the encounters, witnessed in the town of Point Pleasant back in 1966 to 1967, the Mothman creature would not return for another couple of decades, in which reported sightings of the creature were seen throughout the Soviet Union but concentrated around the town of Pripyat and at the Chernobyl power plant. In the months leading up to the Chernobyl incident on the 26th of April back in 1986, the workers at the Chernobyl power plant noticed the same creature reported throughout the town of Pripyat hovering over the plant and sometimes even resting on the larger towers and areas of construction. What grew more perplexing for the workers were the reported numbers of incidents of which people often claimed to have experienced harrowing nightmares of the creature that would manifest into threatening phone calls from unknown numbers calling them all throughout the night, almost in a way to warn about the impending dangers of the nuclear plant. Many other claims have come forward surrounding the creation, providing predictions and premonitions to tragedies wherever it is cited, leaving some to believe that perhaps the Mothman is actually a time traveler in disguise. This would lead credence to the theory as many have claimed to have seen the Mothman using electricity to vanish into thin air possibly teleporting through space and time. The Time Traveller John Titor Often regarded as the most popular story surrounding that of the overwhelming evidence of time travel is that of the story of the time traveller known as John Titor and the internet forum of which housed his many claims. According to the claims of the person who went by the name of John Titor, who first began posting on the forum back in 2000. 
He claimed that he was an American military time traveler sent from the year 2036 in an effort to recover an outdated piece of technology that can be reverse engineered in the future. Among his many claims were that of a terrible nuclear war that began in his world in 2004, but that in this timeline would not occur, as that he was jumping between timelines of which were different versions of parallel universes. This has left many skeptical of his claims. However, evidence of his legitimacy soon surfaced as he explained the mechanisms of his time machine and the world in which he comes from. According to John Titor, his machine worked by creating gravitational waves by using two trapped black holes that were positioned in binary orbit that were strong enough to warp space-time and to allow faster-than-light travel. Gravitational waves wouldn't be proven as a legitimate theory until 2014, when researchers at the LIGO Institute uncovered solid evidence of the existence of gravitational waves when observing a natural binary white dwarf formation out in the universe, ultimately proving the man as being a pioneer in theoretical physics and proving the legitimacy of his claims. The USS Eldridge Referred to by many conspiracy theory groups as the Philadelphia Experiment, the strange military experiments surrounding that of the United States military creating an electromagnetic bubble around the large naval vessel known as the USS Eldridge helped to create one of the strange anomalous properties of our world. Originally designed to create completely radar-invisible ships by bouncing radar waves around the ship, these experiments would go on to create a warped space-time field around the ship and transport it through time and space, ending up in different areas of the world and even sending two men through time in an effort to fix the timeline. Although the stories surrounding the Philadelphia experiment span many different accounts and decades worth of government cover-up and intervention, it eventually led to one of the men sent through time, Ed Cameron, coming into contact with humans of the far future as they were preparing to stop a cataclysmic event that was thought to be able to wipe out all life on the planet. Interestingly enough, despite these events having occurred back in the early 1950s, Ed Cameron would go on to make several startling premonitions about the future, including that of colour televisions in the future, flat-screen TVs and even of future events such as that of hospital conditions, medicine, emerging technologies surrounding hospitals as well as changes in the political map in the future. The majority of these findings were during his time spent in a hospital after being sent into the future of the late 1980s and spending a large amount of his time during this period watching TV, baffled by the technology of the future. This would later lead to the further written witness accounts of a man by the name of Al Bielik, of whom claimed to have been the reincarnated Ed Cameron and was able to piece together many of the claims and questions surrounding that of Ed Cameron. He would go on to create a three-hour-long tell-all video that he would post to YouTube before his death, in which he not only further explained the science behind the Philadelphia experiment, but went into the strange future sightings of humanity as well as the terrible cataclysmic event that is believed to occur in the year 2843 that will end all life on our planet as we know it. The Hikers on Devil's Mountain Resting on the borders of San Pablo, Laguna and Dolores, Quiscon, is a mountain referred to by the locals living in the area as the Devil's Mountain. The mountain, known as Mount Cristobal, has been surrounded with a number of disappearances from hikers every single year that claims the lives of even the most experienced hikers in the region. Despite this, it appears that the majority of bodies have not been recovered from these missing hikers, leading some to believe that, instead of perishing, they are taken to another world of some kind. One such story from the locals tells of that of a married couple that went on a hike to the mountain and stayed there for a few days. After they had met others and told them they would be taking a forked path, they were never seen from again. 
leaving many people wondering which path they had taken and become lost since there seemed to have been no forked path in the area. This story would later come up once again after a group of boys went to the mountain on a hiking trip and came across a married couple that fit the look and description of the couple that had went missing a few years prior and so followed the couple believing that they might be ghosts or strange manifestations of the lost couple. As they followed the couple, they witnessed them going down a forked path and so followed them, of which eventually led to them losing sight of the couple and sustaining injuries falling down an area of the mountain. This has led some to believe that the lost people of whom went hiking on the mountain are still there, stuck in a possible time loop or warped reality in which they are jumping through time and encountering other people of whom have went missing on the mountain years prior. These fears have left many, including experienced hikers, worried as to how or why these strange occurrences have been appearing on the mountain and so leave many fearful of journeying through the region. But what do you all think of these strange instances of time travel theories or cases of individuals being trapped in time loops of all kinds? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.